So, it's been well over a month since my last video. We've been very busy here in Yeti land. I actually made a nice long video a couple days ago and then I couldn't get it off the phone. So we're going to try this in installments again. I'm just going to check up on see what everybody's doing, what I've been up to. Right here in the living room, we have Sahara, Sirocco, and here's Nugget. We've been remodeling the kitchen and uh, we got new carpet. What else did we do? A little bit of everything, I guess. Uh, we recovered the couch. That's about it, I guess. But that was fairly disruptive. Poor little Nugget was very stressed out, but she's doing better now. And she's off my worry list for now. She's getting, she's getting, she's really showing her age at 15. Okay, nothing new out here. Oh, here's, here's Sahara again. Looks like she's gonna get double exposure. We're trying to get all the kitties in this video. Yes, we are. Here's Sitka. Sitka's in the basket, aren't you cute? Ain't you cute? Oh, yes, you are. Okay, let's, let's set Sahara in. We only do this at least a dozen times a day, in or out. It's always Sahara. Yeah, in or out. And now we have Mariah accounted for too. Hello there, little sugar. How you doing? Say hi to everybody. They look really pretty there in the sun. Almost look clean. Almost. One of the things that had us busy this summer was uh, reupholstering the couch. Our 1979 couch. That took a month, so this was just an empty spot for a while. I really missed my couch while they had it in the shop to recover it. And the kitchen is the major thing that we managed, was the kitchen. It just wasn't a complete tear down, but it, um, the cabinets were refaced. They're a light blue. I'm not sure what color they're going to look like in the video, but they're light blue. Very nice white countertop. And uh, and I fell in love. Well, actually, we started with a red sink. They told me I had to go out and buy a sink. So I went out and I fell in love with this red sink. And I thought, that's going to be about the stupidest thing you ever bought. But I just couldn't resist it. And one thing led to another. I found, I saw this um, red refrigerator. This was my big splurge for the year, actually in addition to the remodel. One thing led to another and I changed out all of the appliances except for the dishwasher. I wasn't going to get a new stove, but the old one caught on fire. <laughs> While I was making this decision, um, the oven burst into flames and the element just dropped up from the top into the bottom of it. That was the end of that stove. So we've got a new stove as well. We hadn't planned on doing the carpet either, but one thing led to another as far as construction was concerned. We had uh, a leak in the kitchen and some water damage. Water damage was actually due to the washer dryer. Drying the towels as a result of the water damage in the kitchen. In any case, it, we flooded this area. And we had some water damage here. So I decided to change the carpet this year instead of next. That extended our workload quite a bit. Let's go see what's going on upstairs. Continuing in our effort to have a nice update video. I have a video uploading right now where I just cleaned vomit off of this area. Still looks clean. Okay, but we're really up here because we just came up here for another reason. <laughs> And we find cats strewn all over the place. There's Krakatoa and Nomad. That's because it's sunny and warm up here. Simicon, Tipsy Rose.
tiny bear. And I suspect Kalahari. Yes. All righty. Okay, guys. We got ourselves another clip for our update video. Do we have anything new in here? Mariah's helping. Mariah's always a big help. Nothing new in here, but um, with no kittens, this is turned back into my work room. And I'm getting back to my artwork. Those of you who have been following me on Facebook have uh, also been subjected to me and my new artwork. Anyway, this is the largest canvas I've ever done. It's 30 inches by 40 inches, and it's of the girls. Krakatoa on the left, Sitka on the right. And um, I actually have a photograph of them sitting on the gate to the nursery, like this with their tails hanging down and back. They're so pu beautiful. So that was the subject of the painting, and the rest of the painting, we don't know where it came from. It just sort of happens. I don't have much control over my projects. Uh, but now I've started a new one, and I'm, I'm keeping the big one hung on the wall for two reasons. I need to make a frame for it. It's oil, so it's going to take a while to dry. Be dry enough to frame anyway. And I'm um, also doing the cats again, so they're also a nice reference, though I, do, I did take a photograph and crop it kind of sort of the way I want the new painting to be cropped. But as you can see, the new painting's already gone off in several wild directions. I expect the kitties in the new painting to be much more colorful. Uh, hopefully it will give the illusion of white cats, but maybe not. We never know.